everyone. Good morning. Um, so I was asked to choose a scripture that um, means a lot to me and to talk about um, what it means to me. Uh, a scripture that I have really been um, taking to heart lately is Psalm 23. So I'll just read it first. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So I actually did um, uh, a Bible study on this on this chapter recently, and um, so that's where a lot of these thoughts come from. But they've just really um, sunk deep into my heart, and I've really held on to them uh, lately. So uh, just going to take it verse by verse and and mention a couple things that that I found really resonated with me from this chapter. Um, so. The part where he says, uh, he makes me lie down in green pastures, leads me beside still waters, restores my soul, and guides me. Um, in the message, it also says, you let me catch my breath and send me in the right direction. So I guess lately one of the biggest things that I've learned um, in my life and uh, through the scripture is that I've learned how to just sit and just to be quiet. Um, and. You know, whether I'm reading my Bible or reading a devotional or just sitting and being quiet, um, you know, there's no pressure to say fancy things. Um, so since about a year ago, I've really learned to just be still and quiet every day, uh, have my quiet time with the Lord. Um, took me a long time to get to this point, but I'm glad I'm here now. Um, even just sitting in my chair, I have this one chair that I sit in every morning before the kids wake up and uh, it's beside my patio door so I can kind of look outside and um, so even just sitting there I start feeling my heart to be filled, uh, my strength be restored and my mind just starts to clear. Just like the message says, I feel as though I catch my breath. Because I'm sitting quietly with God, He can begin to send me in the right direction. When I feel connected to Him daily, I feel more confident that I hear His guidance throughout each and every day. So verse 4, I think it is, I will fear no evil, you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The message also says, when you walk at my side. So I've started learning um, in my life and through the scripture how to allow God space to do his work and to begin to um, have peace and feel his peace in extraordinary, uh, during extraordinary circumstances. Um, I'm a planner and I'm a worrier, so this is not a natural thing for me at all. Um, and I think once I realize that it's it's partly a choice to to you know enter into a, a you know feeling peace and you know you have to seek it out, but you also have to choose it and you have to fight to stay in that place of peace and of, of, um, of calm and it comes and goes but um, when I feel myself drifting into a place of fear or into a place of unrest then I, I remind myself that I can, I can fight back um, you know with, with reading my Bible and with prayer, listening to music uh, or just being quiet. Uh, daily time with God is essential for this. Um, feeling connected to Him is essential for this. I find saying things out loud helps, so, um, you know, oftentimes I'll just say something out loud to my husband, like, God must have planned it this way, or, or God knows why this is happening, or, um, you know, if we're having, if we're going through a rough, a rough day, and um, I'm trying to, to see God's love in it, or God's peace in it, God's promise, um, I'll say out loud, well, he did this miracle, and he did this miracle, and he did this miracle, so, so he's got this under control, you know, looking back to the things that he's done before to reassure you that, that he's got your situation. Um, the part where it says, uh, even though we walk through the, the valley of the shadow of death, so from the study that I was uh, reading based on Psalm 23, um, it was 
it was breaking down almost every word. And at this point, it was talking about how um, the word walk. So you're walking through your valley, whatever it is. Um, you're not just sitting down in one place, staying there, not moving. You're walking, so you're moving forward. Um, and just to know that there is an end to the valley that you're in. You know, you will come up on the mountainside eventually. Um, there will be more valleys, but we can use what we learn through current valleys to walk through future valleys. And God shapes us through the valleys and allows us to connect with others. I've learned a whole new world of compassion for others, walking through their own valleys because of my valleys. So, moving forward, um, actually backwards. <laughs> So um, I want to go back to verse 1 where it says, I shall not want. Um, so there's two parts of this for me. Um, I've learned a lot more about how to just be content, uh, how to feel settled. Um, I think it's important to learn how to love yourself the way God created you and to love your surroundings, the place that you're in, situations that you're in. Um, this has been a sensitive spot for me. In comparison struggle is always is always hard. Um, I just have something here from another book that I want to add. So this is from a book um, that I also read earlier in the fall, and it says, "Comparison brings out our competitive streak, which eats away at our contentment, which then starts to destroy our confidence until we're fighting to keep up with an unrealistic standard." So. Learning to just be content um, has given back joy in my life. Um, and then, you know, there's so many things that I, I do not want for because I'm blessed with um, my wonderful husband and uh, my wonderful family and friends. So this year God has provided me with um, literally an army of godly women who are now my dearest friends through our, uh, one of our ladies Bible study groups. They encourage me and teach me, and they're there for me, and I'm there for them. And I can't express what a gift they are to my life. I'm so thankful for God's hand in my life and in my family's life. And I pray that I will continue um, to be quiet and still every day, to always hear His voice. <laughs>